In this video, let's look at how we can make use of Google Gemma LLM and build a medical chatbot. So I'll be using retrieval augmented generation technique over here to build this medical chatbot. Let's look at a demo and then let's go into the details. So here is a document. This is an unstructured PDF document. This is a fibromyalgia information booklet. This talks about a disease called fibromyalgia, its symptoms, its treatments and so on. So I want to build a chatbot which, which I'll be able to chat with this document. So here is my chatbot and when I ask a question like what is fibromyalgia, it gives this fibromyalgia as a long term condition. So basically it pulls out relevant information from this particular um, document and generates my response. So then I ask like what are treatments for fibromyalgia, it gives me this particular information over here, right? So when I ask a very specific question like how can I find a private occupational therapist, it says to find a private occupational therapist, visit this particular site. Now if you go into this document, you will see that it is very specifically present over here to find private occupational therapist, go to this particular website, okay? Right. And if you want to ask like, you know, uh, uh, for more information about, uh, you know, this particular, let's copy this content, right. For, oh, okay. Where can I find more information for, you know, this particular uh, condition, right. Where, where can I find more information? Control V. Okay, about remove this. Let's see what response it gives. Okay, it is generating the response. It says that you know text states that go to this particular thing over here, right? Go to this uh, British Association for Behavioral and Cognitive Psychotherapies, right? And it gives this particular link. So, what are the techniques behind this particular chatbot? Okay. So first you need to understand the concept of retrieval augmented generation. The idea is, over here is that your data is loaded and prepared for queries or indexed. So basically this is your data. This data is converted into basically text is read from this file and then it is converted into embeddings or vectors and it is stored in a indexed vector database. Okay. Right. For this, I make use of an embedding library called fast embed. Okay. So the fast embed is a, a lightweight fast Python library built for embedding generation. I make use of that. For, uh, and then what happens is when a user query comes like, you know, what is fibromyalgia as an example, what happens over here is that it is also converted into embeddings using the same library. And then uh, that query hits with that embeddings, a query hits the vector database and retrieves the relevant content. Okay. So that content along with the user query is actually along with the prompt of the LLM, right, is sent to the LLM, which is Gemma over here to generate your response. So this is the response generated by the LLM. Okay. And the relevant content for that is actually it will pull out from this document is this particular content. Okay. So it will pull out this content, right? So that is retrieval augmented generation at a high level. So as I said, I am making use of this fast embed as my embeddings over here, embedding library. I'll be making use of Gemma as my LLM and this rag uh, retrieval augmented generation framework is something called as Llama index over here. Now uh, let's get into the details of uh, the Gemma model. Okay, high level details. So I'll be using this Gemma 7b uh, instruction tuned version. So this is a 7 billion parameter model. Uh, details are present over here in the hugging face thing as well as the Google blog. I'll not go into the details of that. Okay. For this, you need to accept a license over here and you can see over here that I have been granted access to this model. Okay. So this has been done, right? I have gained access to this particular uh, model over here. Now let's get into our code. Okay. So first I need to install transformers library over here. First I'll talk about all the libraries which needs to be installed. So transformers, this particular version needs to be installed for Gemma to work 
using transformers library okay then you need to install llama index and other libraries so uh, this worked with this release of llama index so that's why i put over here 0.1.0.12 okay so all the other necessary libraries needs to be installed uh, you need to install llama index llms hugging face to make use of hugging face llms in llama index okay then you need to install this fast embed uh, embeddings llama index embeddings fast embed and you also need to install your uh, fast embed okay so these are all the libraries which needs to be installed now you need to create a key over here a secret over here called hf token you need to create an access token in your hugging face account like this copy that and put it over here okay and you have to enable notebook access to this particular hf underscore token this is required for making use of hugging face llms in collab notebooks here specifically gemma 7b llm okay and then i create a data folder over here and i upload my information booklet over here fibromyalgia this pdf i upload over here okay so now we are set for our uh, rag task okay so what i need to do is that from llama index core i need to import a vector store index and a simple directory reader and from llama index llm hugging face import hugging face llm from llama index core import settings now i have to read my documents so i use this simple directory reader i pass this path of content data and load data the documents are read over here okay so the pdf file is read it is con uh, the text is read basically from the pdf file that is what is present in documents okay then i have to initialize my embeddings model so from llama index embedding fast embed import fast embedding so fast embedding uh, the default model used is this bgf a uh, bge small so this is my embeddings model okay by default llama index makes use of open ai embeddings and open ai llm so that is why i am changing this over here saying that settings dot embed model is equal to this particular model and chunk size is 512 okay so 512 chunks of uh, of text would be uh, the text 512 tokens or something would be embedded that is the idea over here okay by the chunk size right now uh, i create a prompt template so the system prompt is you are a question assistant i also create a query wrapper prompt which is user queries uh, assistant okay this is the sim um, system prompt for my llm okay uh, your goal is to answer questions as accurately as possible based on the instruction and context provided okay the user query should go like this basically user or qu user query and then the assistant response to be generated okay so to use this gated model from uh, google uh, basically from hugging face then i have to do this uh, hugging face notebook login and here i have to again give this access token which i have created over here i have to give that and now uh, you know login will be successful to hugging face hub okay now here is where i am creating my gemma 7b llm so this is how you create it if you see the tokenizer i have given that the context window is 8192 uh, I don't know the stopping IDs for this particular LLM. This was for a different, so I've commented it. It still works fine. Okay. And I want to do B float 16 inference. So that is why I'm giving this stars stars dot float 16. Okay. So here I have to do settings dot LLM is equal to LLM. Otherwise, it will ask for open AI LLMs. Okay. So here we are doing our custom Gemini, uh, sorry, Gemma 7B uh, instruction tuned model over here. Okay. And the chunk size is 512 over here. So this is what I do. So our model is now downloaded and it is loaded. Okay. Now all I need to do is that I need to create an index. So for that I do vector store dot index from documents and pass that red document. Okay. Internally what will happen is that the document text will be actually now converted into embeddings using fast embeddings. And then the embeddings will be stored in a vector database which is in memory over here. Okay. Llama index default vector database which is in memory over here then i need to create a query engine okay so i can do it as index as query engine i define a small predict function over here whereby i give the input to the query engine and i get a response and i give the response back okay now i can create my gradio user interface like this okay it is two lines uh, gradio interface dot um, you know import gradio sgr dot uh, chat interface predict launch share is equal to true so once i create this my interface has been created over here okay and now you can ask your queries over here and what happens internally is that 
the query is first converted into embeddings it is sent to a vector database from vector database relevant content is retrieved that content along with the system prompt right uh, plus your query which is inserted into that uh, user prompt basically plus the relevant text is sent to the LLM and the LLM generates your response that is the idea over here okay uh, from whatever response I am seeing over here I think the performance of uh, this LLM is quite good okay for RAG applications from my limited testing I would say over here on this particular document I am getting quite good uh, responses okay based on the queries which I am giving over here right so I will share this notebook in the description of the video you can go and check it out I am specifically running it on a A100 because the 7B instruction tuned model requires at least 14 GB and what I am seeing is that with every query which I am being asked with every query which I am being uh, asked over here uh, the memory keeps increasing it's kind of disconnected now but uh, that is what I am seeing over here okay I hope this video on a uh, rag basically developing a medical chat bot using Gemma as LLM okay uh, using a retrieval augmented generation technique is useful to you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel i'll be putting all the links in the description of the video please check it out see you in another video